What's up, yes gamers? We're Harvard the Bruce here. Back again today with another video in the series CTF Ninja Beacon. Uh, today's video is taking place on Kaiser Railroad, obviously, and we're on the Russian side, so we're going to be looking at beacon placements when you're on the Russian team, where to put them down. Now, as I mentioned in the last video, something I like to do is put a beacon down early, my first run in, like I did there, a little ways out from the enemy base, that lets me parachute in uh, safely into the enemy base, uh, behind enemy lines, where I can put down the main beacon that I'm really going to be spawning out of the rest of the game. Now to give you a bird's eye view, we're going to go ahead and freeze the video here in a second and uh, highlight the crate that I like to use. A lot of the crates are closed off, but that one that I highlighted there is actually open in the front and it fits perfectly the criteria that I use for putting down a spawn beacon in behind enemy lines in Capture the Flag. I like to put it down here towards the back, try to minimize the chances of an enemy seeing it if they're running by, but this is kind of an out-of-the-way area. Most enemies don't really run through that zone, um, but it allows you to be so close to the flag, um, close to the enemy spawn, right in the heart of the action. You and your squad mates will really get a lot of use out of this beacon. Um, this is one of my favorite placements of all of the Capture the Flag maps. Um, and there are a few others you can do here. You can go even farther back into their spawn, but then it becomes less effective because there's more of a run. Uh, you can move closer to the flag and put it in the building right next to it, but it's a lot more likely to be discovered there. Uh, but that, that crate, I put it in there, that um, shipping container is just perfect for uh, what I like to do. Um, here you see one of the many benefits of uh, spawning in back there, undetected by the enemy. I don't know what that helicopter was doing. Um, you hop out and you see an enemy vehicle right there, ripe for the taking, you know, go tear it up. In normal other games, Conquest, um, that kind of thing, I'm not typically in the enemy base trying to steal their stuff. I think it's a little more lame when you do that, but capture the flag, the flag's so close to the, you know, their vehicles and everything else, that it's pretty much impossible to not, quote unquote, spawn camp and uh, take the enemy vehicles, so I don't really worry about it as much when we're playing uh, Capture the Flag, but something else to remember, I think I actually flashed it up earlier in one of the hints in the top right corner. When you first spawn out of that beacon, if you ever suspect that there might be bad guys around, uh, stop and throw down the tugs or the MAV and uh, just wait a minute and make sure there's no bad guys around you. This is a great way to kind of get the jump on them if they're, you know, suspecting that you're in the area, or to literally just hide in there and wait till they go on and, and not give away the placement of your beacon because as you can see here I'm only running in a, a squad of two just me and another buddy but if you're running a full pack of four and you can keep that beacon hidden throughout the majority of the game and allow your team to keep that constant attack on the enemy this is such an insane advantage I mean it's the whole reason I'm doing this series it's uh, literally a game changer I can't tell you how many times we've been struggling but then bam suddenly four of us are in the back of the enemy base keeping that constant pressure on them, constant attack on the flag. Even if you fail five times in a row, you know, grabbing their flag and then they kill you before you can get away with it. It's such a detriment to their spirit. You know, the enemy team is just like, gosh, I cannot leave our base because someone's always taking our flag. It's a huge benefit to your team, and it really can take the pressure off a lot of the rest of your teammates uh, as they're off doing their own thing. So thanks so much for watching. As always, throw a comment below with where you like to place your beacons if you do a similar strategy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.